Guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Drew Tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you a new AI website that is booming right now. And it's none other than Kling AI. So if you've never heard about it, then you want to stick around for the entire video because I'm going to show you how to register and give you a walkthrough of the dashboard and how you can use this AI platform. So what you want to do? Head over to clingai.com and I'm going to go to the website here. And once you head over to Kling AI, you can see this really cool dashboard here. Now, if you've checked out any of my previous videos, you may see that I've shared something like Vidnos AI. And this is quite similar, but trust me, this one is booming, right? So what you want to do, once you head over to Kling AI to get started, it's very easy. You see the dashboard, you can see some credible things that you can use AI to do you can use text you can use images to generate videos you can do so much with this so how to register it's very easy you will see the sign up button on the upper right hand side so you want to click on sign in and you will have the option to sign in with your google account apple account or even with any other email address that you have but i can guarantee that most of you guys have a gmail account right or at least apple so i'm going to use my gmail so click sign in with gmail and i'm going to quickly choose my email there and once you sign in you will be logged right in so you don't have to create any account just sign in with gmail it works and you basically have an account right and that's it very easy they also mentioned here that once you sign up or sign in you receive 166 credit and you can use this 166 credit to use advanced features here so that's something that you want to know right so once you're here guys you will see that it might ask you some pop-up you get a pop-up and it might ask you a few questions about your occupation and so forth you can fill this out not necessarily i'm going to click this off right now because i'm very excited to show you what this website looks like so let's start off with the left hand side here you have home right and you can see in the main page as well at the top there that it shows you that you can do ai image ai video and also have some effects right if you scroll on here it shows you some trending shards things that you can create and it also show you some trending creatives that people create right so you have some really cool things here that you can really use the power of ai to generate and one of the things that i really like is that not only you can use what people have recreate but you can also get for example the image that they use and the video and the prompt that they use whatever they use you can download that and recreate something out of that that's why i really love clean ai and i'm going to show you that a little bit later right so as it says here it says next gen ai creative studio really cool right clean ai sparks your imagination so on the left hand side guys you have the home you have the explore if you click on explore you can see some really cool things that people have create or generate with the power of ai and keep in mind you might see some really unique one but it could be that they use the pictures to generate something out of that or they might just simply use prompt but in any case there are some really stunning creations here with Kling AI. You can search for something here if you want to search for something. So let's say I want to look for something with Lion or for example, I can type Lion and I can see all the different creations people do, right? So you can see the recommended ones as well as you can see it's set by default. And you also have time. So if you switch this to time, you can see the latest ones that people have done there so you can always get access to see some of the latest prompts or creation that was done you can go to the right hand side and you can see filters you can filter by image or by video it's really up to you so if i want to see pictures i can see images that people create with the power of ai if i want to see only videos i can see those as well it's really up to me so you can filter really nice here now they also have shards so you have creatives and you also have shards you can switch between creatives and shards it's really up to you right so just keep that in mind now under the events section you also have this section where it shows various events and this is something you might find interesting so you can come and you can check this out to be honest i never really look into these events i was always going here to generate videos and so forth so if you're interested you can check out the event section now on the ai assets you can do the ai images and you can do the ai videos so once you click on ai images you basically have the option to use prompt you can also upload images you can 
add whatever you want. This is basically where you go to create all of that amazing stuff, right? You can simply go ahead and use this section. So they have a section for images and they also have a section for the videos as well. Now, if you want to go back to the main pages, just simply hover over the burger menu at the top and you can simply click and back to the home dashboard there. The videos looks quite similar. You can basically use the same thing. Now, here you realize something, you have frames and you also have elements and you also have effects. So these are three really cool features that you can basically select to create your promo or make something out of this. So that's really, really cool. And I'm gonna show you something a bit later. How cool is that? And I'm gonna show you now, but let's finish this section. And the My Creative section here on the left-hand side basically shows you what you have generated, your assets and all this kind of stuff, right? Your likes, your presets, your videos, your image, whatever you create, you can basically do that. It's also where you find your profile. As you can see here, I have my profile here under the My Creatives. And if I want to, for example, edit my profile, as you can see, this name is not cool. I can click Edit Profile right here and I can change my name. So I can say Mr. Drew or something like that, right? Mr. Drew. <laughs> Let's call it like that, Mr. Drew. And I can change the bio to whatever I want. I can type it and I can say Drew Tutorial as an example, right? So this is basically what I would have there. You can put whatever you want. You have 200 characters that you can fill in your description. You can even change your image if you want to. So if you want to change your image, you can find something. I can see if I have any image of myself that I could use. I have a folder with some pictures here that I can really choose from. Let's choose this. And yeah, let's use this as an example, right? So you can upload your own image to your profile as well. Really cool stuff. And as you can see, the picture is there. Then I can click save and you will see that my picture changed in the upper right hand side. And yeah, this is my profile, right? Um, if you want to see your notifications as well, this is on the upper right hand side next to your picture. So you can see your notifications or messages and interactive messages. This is where you can find that. The next thing is on the upper right hand side, when you hover over your profile, you have things such as help center, contact us, you can sign out. These, you know, normal things that you get into profile, you have your profile ID and so forth, right? Even if you so want to do, if at any point you want to upgrade your plan, as well, you have the upgrade button on the upper right hand side. You click on that, it opens up a separate window and you have the different plans that you can choose from and you basically subscribe, right? Now, let's go back to some really cool stuff. So if you go to, for example, the home, right? And you find some kind of design, whether it's video or whatever you want to, let's say, create something from. So let's say I like this, put the bunny rabbit here, right? I can easily go ahead and I can click on it and you can see it says recreate which basically mean if I click on recreate it's going to take me a new window actually and you can see that it gives a few options right it gives you frame and also have the image that's what I really like so you can use this to actually download that particular image and even make something out of that that's one of the really cool things that I like so you can basically download the image or you can remove the image and you also have the element section as well that you can come here and you can also add more images and upload and do whatever you want you get the idea right the effects section as well and it shows you how to basically use each section you also have prompt as well so if you want to basically change the prompt let's say you want to use the same bunny rabbit but you want to change the prompt we can simply change the prompt right here it says rabbit bend down and look at the camera so you can easily go ahead and change this to say probably rabbit jump or whatever you want to write say right and you also have you whenever you are satisfied with changing the prompt to whatever you want you can easily click generate it shows you how much credit it will basically take to generate that particular video right so it's really cool you can even choose the get inspired option so if you click on that you have different options or prompt that appears that you can select from or whatever you can you have different options right that you can basically um, choose from you have the hints as well so you have different hints that you can choose and you can see these different options as well you can select so for example if you want this you can select that and it can change as well it's really up to you guys so you can take these different prompts let me go back to the home dashboard and you can just make something out of it
it is as easy as that i want to take the time guys to walk you through and show you how you can easily do at any point in time you find something that you like and you want to recreate just hover over it simple click and recreate if you want to like something as well you can hit the like and you can easily go back and find that so you might be wondering okay if i find something that i like how do i find this afterwards so let's say i like this in order to find that it will be under your my creatives right so if you go to my creatives when you find something that you like you have a section called likes and this is where all those different one that you like will appear so at any point in time later on you can easily come back and find those different videos you can easily recreate them right so it's a really simple and easy to use platform right a dashboard let's put it like that really cool so whenever you find something that you like and you want to recreate it's very easy just simple click recreate or you can copy the prompt or whatever it is you can even download the image if you want the image click download and as you can see it will choose where i want to i can basically you know save it or you know add something there or do whatever it i can upload a new one or whatever it might be right so you can easily go ahead and make these different changes here so it's all in one i really like this platform guys once you're ready you know once you choose find something that you like you can always change it so if i click and for example this i can you know choose something and simply generate and you'll see that it's going to quickly i'm on the free version so it's basically you know give me a pop-up here about what i can buy and blah 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 but you generally you get the idea right so you just basically need to quickly you know choose whatever you want one other thing i want to show you as well guys that you have a section here under the settings that you can easily switch if you have you can easily switch how you want it if you want to make the duration of the video to be five ten seconds or you want to change the aspect ratio or whatever it is you can easily make these different changes for your videos as well so there's so much you can do um the last thing i want to share with you is the model if you look at the top for a video you have different models that you can choose from you have the cling 1.6 which is new but you also have the one and the 1.5 that you can choose from as well so these are different models that give you different you know power of you know the, the version or the ai i'm not the ai guru but you get the idea right as it says ai 1.6 model of cling is a greatly improved prompt tolerance for more consistent and dynamic results so you can choose for example the latest one and i will say obviously if they have a latest version you will choose that right but yeah in a nutshell that's basically it it's it's a wonderful platform i want to recommend that you take the time to come and check it out i come across it i've tried it a couple of times and i really like it and i just want to take the opportunity to share this with you guys so if you really want to check out this ai if you've heard about it this is what clean ai looks like this is what it offers and i strongly recommend that you take the opportunity and try to play around with it very easy and very simple guys i want to thank you for your time thank you for everything and thank you guys for your patience and yeah go ahead and have some fun with clean ai